I'm gonna have to fight the Ottomans in Tunis to form Italy, dude. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video, where we're gonna be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation in U4 in 1444, that is unique enough of course, and this week we're back with the nation of Bayreuth. Now, it's pretty funny, because last time we played as Bamberg, a nation that's right next to us, also Franconian culture, just like us, they were also a subject, they're a vassal of Würzburg, and we as Bayreuth this time are a vassal, or a junior partner of Ansbach, so pretty much the exact same starting situation as Bamberg. They had a bad ruler, we have a bad ruler too. Let's take a look at the Bayreuther ideas. Oh, wait a minute. Merc maintenance? Goods produced? Discipline? Alright, hold up. Diplo rep. A impact. Garrison size? Religious unity. Army tradition? Memper recovery speed? Presti wait a minute. Dude, these ideas are awesome! What is Bayreuth? How have I never noticed them? Either way, we're definitely gonna have a lot of fun this week as Bayreuth as well. But what do we do as Bayreuth? Well, last time we snaked up with Bamberg all the way over here to form an unusual nation pretty far from us, the nation of Prussia. So why not do a similar thing this week, but instead of snaking that way and forming Prussia, let's snake down here and form Italy as Bayreuth. And before we begin, if you enjoy this video, don't hesitate to leave a like, it really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more A to Z videos or more U4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. Let's jump in as Bayreuth. Alright, alright, here we are as Bayreuth. I Obviously, once again, the first thing that we need to do is get free from Ansbach. Now, it should be a little easier this time. Last time, Wurzburg had a level 3 fort. Ansbach doesn't. They only have a level 1. And let's see if someone supports our independence. And it's just Nuremberg. <laughs> It's just Nuremberg. Uh, okay, well, I am gonna ask them to support me. Sure, why not? Uh, let me start improving with Saxony. They might support me as well. Probably not, though. We have a free merchant. Okay, we're collecting here, I guess. And let's transfer from Vienna to the Rhineland as well. Are we making money? Of course not. We're broke. We are so broke. So let me do some estate stuff. All right, estate stuff done. And I even hired a Diplo rep advisor. Let's see if someone will support us now. This is gonna be hard. All right, this is gonna be insane, dude. Ansbach allied Würzburg who has the subject Bamberg and also Memmingen. Uh, hey, Rothenburg are offering to support our independence. They were these guys right here. Yes, I'll accept. All right, we got two guys, baby. Nice. Uh, is anyone else gonna support? Please, guys, come on, man. All right, dude, this is gonna be impossible, man. Look at their alliances. Jesus. Listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to try and do this myself. So let me get the free company too, I guess. Yeah, dude, we're gonna go bankrupt in like the first year, man. This is gonna be so embarrassing. I don't know what else to do, man. I swear. All right, dude, I literally don't know what else to do, man. We gotta declare here. This is the worst independence war in the history of independent wars. Maybe ever. Hey, now we're independent. Bruh, how are you gonna beat these guys, man? How are we gonna beat these guys? Listen, at least they're not sieging me down, right? And we're already standing on Württemberg and Memmingen. Boys, this might not be as difficult as I thought. Right, right, let me stab up. Right. And let me get rid of this guy. You know, actually, they're not that much more powerful than us. Well, actually, they are. But the thing is... Oh, we already got Württemberg. Nice! Here's the problem. Level 3 Fort in Würzburg. All right, we gotta be smart with the separate pieces here. So this is uh, Württemberg, right? Okay, let's uh, let's take money from them. Let's take war reps. Let's pillage their capital. And uh, I'm gonna make them end uh, rivalry. Okay, a little better. Wait, nothing changed. All right, because we wiped their army. <laughs> Mission, high income. Yes, I'll take it even though I won't be building anything. Well, Nuremberg dipped. It's just me and Rothenburg now versus Ansbach, Bamberg, and Würzburg. Ah, my old friend, we meet again. All right, Würzburg is out too along with their boy Bamberg, but we have suffered heavy casualties, ladies and gentlemen. But that's fine. As soon as we recoup our morale, Ansbach will be done. And wow, boys, we have won an extremely difficult independence war. It wasn't that difficult, but... I was scared of it, listen. And I pillaged all of these guys as capitals because, listen, we're not gonna be conquering a whole lot. We're pretty much trapped in here until we can fight Bamberg or someone. We can't fight Nuremberg, they're a free city. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna demand independence, pillage Ansbach. Uh, I won't get anything, whatever, then I won't pillage it. Get war reps, get their money, and, uh, yeah, make them in some alliances or something. So, I guess that's it. And, uh, now we need to wait for, let's see, the Palatinate. They're like the Hesse. We could we fight them? I was thinking of going through here, but I I guess we'll see. Either we're fighting the Palatinate now, or waiting for a truce with these guys to run out. Luckily, it's not that long. Moving up in the world, our loans are now four ducats instead of three. Let's take burger loans. Ah, I love it. I really, I really love it. Paying off four ducat loans with three... Wait, no, they're not three. Wait, which ones did I take now? Ah, uh, let me pay these off then? This is stupid, let me tell you that. 
Now, here's something that's going on. I've actually allied uh, three electors, Trier, Mainz, and uh, Brandenburg. If I can ally one more of those guys, and if I become a bit more powerful, we could actually become the Emperor. Ah, uh, the power of some insignificant HRE miner. I've allied Brandenburg, Bohemia, Koln, and Mainz. Uh, please start voting for me, boys. I promise I'll get more powerful. You know, sometimes this is my favorite part of the day. Ah, uh, wonderful, uh, Bavaria formed. <laughs> I have to go through them now. <laughs> oh my god. Alright boys, our truce with Würzburg is up. They've annexed Bamberg, that's fine. And it's time to declare our first war, where we're gonna be expanding. Yay! Magdeburg and Württemberg, lots of level 3 forts, so let's call in Köln and Mainz. No, actually, they destroyed their level 3 fort. Nice. Now, honestly, before I thought about becoming Emperor, I was gonna open up with quantity. But I feel like this is a realistic chance we have right here, boys. So why not open up with Diplo? Alright, since expansion is gonna be pretty slow, I wasn't gonna full annex these guys. I was just gonna take one province from them. But, like I said, expansion is gonna be slow and we do need to buff ourselves up. So that's gonna be it. Full annexing. We're expanding in the wrong way once again, just like last time initially. But no worry, boys. It's Ansbach, then it's Bavaria, then it's Augsburg, then it's Burgrans, then it's Switzerland, and then it's Italy. Oh my god, this is gonna be so annoying. Alright, boys, it's time for our next war versus our former overlord of Ansbach. They have some pretty strong elements such as Bavaria. But listen, they got only 19k troops. My army is half the size of that. And once we call in our boys Bohemia, Brandenburg, and Köln, they made me annul my alliance with mines. I will be unstoppable. Boom. Yes. Now in this war, we might also take the province of Danauworth. Why are my allies sucking? They just got wiped out like 15 times, dude. <laughs> What's going on? Nice. They made Köln annul their alliance with me as well. Dude, I'll... <laughs> How am I gonna become emperor if everyone keeps annulling alliances? Alright, alright, nice. The war is done. Only Ansbach and Bavaria left. Now, unfortunately, I can't separate piece Bavaria, so I'm gonna have to do something like this in this war. Maybe something like this. No, 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 that's too much. And let's take all their money too, I guess. Alright, boom, done. A is not bad at all because we're not expanding very fast. So now we gotta go through Augsburg, Burgans, and Switzerland. Here's a little problem though, boys. Augsburg is allied to Austria. Oh, big sad. You gotta be kidding me, man. Civil War? It's it's like not even the 1470s. I guess the traditions really are coming back, huh, boys? All these red banners popping up, pretender rebels popping up, enemies are sieging. I don't care. Personal union, monarch death, it won't happen, dude. What's this? Too few rivals? Let's rival Ulm. Looming disaster. I'm gonna stop it. I should have actually rivaled Augsburg here, but uh, looks like England's having a good time. I actually rivaled Ulm while they were sending me an alliance offer. So obviously, you know, you can't ally your rival, but let's see what happens. Okay. Oh, I didn't. I didn't ally them. Right now, Austria warned me. So I can't fight anyone they border, which is Augsburg once again. <laughs> but hey, Brandenburg is voting for me. Thank you, Brandenburg. Come on, Bohemia. You can do it too. We have defeated our rivals. Listen, who needs an alliance with Austria when you can get one with France? Oh, I thought Rose was gonna turn green. <laughs> Looky here, boys. I'm so popular. I'm so charming. I'm so powerful as my Ruth, that France, they themselves have sent me an alliance offer and not the other way around. And look at France, man. They've even got provinces in the British Isles. Uh, they're beating up Castile and Aragon. Uh, of course I'll accept that, my boy. Of course I'll accept that. And I'll immediately start currying favors with you. <laughs> You're gonna try this on for size later, Austria. You bet. Now, I'm not actually gonna take Justified Wars for my first stage ability, funnily enough, even though we are in the HRE. What I am gonna take is the claims bordering claims thing, so maybe we can fight other nations before actually fighting Augsburg themselves. Like Burgans, for example. Alright, boys, I think we're gonna have a new plan of attack here. Since we're gonna be fighting Austria anyway, when we're gonna be fighting Augsburg, why not just take Augsburg along with Intol and Eshtol in that war? We're also gonna have a gold mine like that, and we're gonna be straight into Italy once we pass Trent, instead of fighting Augsburg, Brigands, and Switzerland. Of course, Venice will have to be our first target, and they're allied to Genoa, and they're pretty strong, so yeah. But luckily, with France on my side, I think we should be able to do this. For our second idea group, we gotta go with a something mill. Now, we might become Emperor, and then manpower probably won't be a problem. I mean, not probably, it obviously won't be a problem. I already got three boys voting for me, even though this hasn't changed yet, and Mainz is about to start voting for me as well so as soon as uh, emperor joseph here kicks the bucket he is 25 but oh well we are gonna become emperor and manpower is not gonna be an issue so we got diplo i'm thinking quality or offensive how about offensive 
Alright boys, I've farmed up favor with all of my allies, that includes a super powerful friends and Bohemia and Brandenburg and Colon Mines, and it's time to declare on Augsburg, where we're probably also gonna take land from Austria, even though I won't go belligerent them, I don't wanna have to fight England, man. And let's call in all of these boys right here, uh, let's go, Austria, you got no chance, buddy, no chance. Diplo really is the best idea group for single player, man, nice one, Bohemia, <laughs> That's what you get for guaranteeing these dudes, man. Let's humiliate them and let's take all their money. And I'm gonna make them, uh, listen, uh, and their alliance with Anhalt. Yeah, mmm, feels good. That's what you get for forming yourself, Bavaria. Let's grow our boys Bohemia a bit and weaken Austria at the same time. Oh, wait, no, actually, I need stuff from them. I mean, actually, I can do it in the main peace deal. So, uh, so, uh, yeah, let's take Augsburg, Intal, and Eshtal. Perfect. We're gonna have a gold mine too, boys. And let's give these right here to Bohemia or not. Uh, let's just give him Manhartsburg and uh right right they won't exist so let's give him that why not take some money too perfect all right boys we're almost in Italy just Trent left to go why would they do this man why would they do this? why France declared on Liège, Austria, Hesse, Cleves, England, the planet, Salzburg, and Ferrar. I swear, the AI still doesn't know that when you declare on a member of the Empire, the Emperor's allies will come in. That's why you see France and Burgundy declare on Liège all the time. They don't know Austria's allies are gonna come in. So now, I'm supposed to sit here and get destroyed. Am I salty? Yes, of course I am. Do I have to accept it? Of course I do. Well, good job, France. <laughs> Now what? We have formed a personal union with Brandenburg. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> Saxony declared a succession war. Friends didn't join. All right, who am I fighting in this succession war, man? Oh, actually, okay, this is easily winnable. Nice, so we got a Brandenburg as a junior partner. Oh, uh, that's pretty unexpected. But we're totally sucking in this war, friends called me and man. We're losing, we're like negative 40. I think I'm gonna lose land, man. Oh my God, I can hop out of the Liege war. Thank God. Oh, I'll let friends deal with that themselves. Jesus. Well, at least now I got Brandenburg. Ah, we've beaten Saxony. Should I take anything? from them. I feel like I don't want aggressive expansion, but then again, I am gonna be blobbing out in Italy. So maybe uh, I'm gonna nab Coburg right here, give some provinces to Brandenburg, but that still gives me AE, right? Yeah. I mean, let's do something like this, I guess, and I'll take all their money, war apps, transfer shade power, sure. Great, now we got a junior partner voting for us. They should be loyal soon enough. Excellent, unexpected situation right there. Like I always say, boys, high war exhaustion, good. Good job, France. Good job on that Liege war. You just lost a bunch of land. They had to give back stuff to England, pop out some guys over here, or something like that. I don't know what exactly happened, but excellent word declaration from them. The Austrian Emperor died and I didn't get elected. <laughs> Cause, uh, Colin and Mainz were angry, I PU'd Brandenburg. Alright, let's fight Trent. We might also take something from Venice. The annoying thing is, they're allied to, well, they're in a trade league with like 17 other nations. Luckily, I can call them my boys, and, uh, yeah. Who are we fighting? Ah, many annoying one province miners. Of course. Bro, what's going on in Italy, man? Please don't tell me I'm gonna have to fight the Ottomans in Tunis to form Italy, dude. And look at this huge boat, man. This is the cursedest I've seen Italy during the early game, man. All right, this is the peace deal, Trent and Verona. Finally, we have entered Italy. Now all I need to do is conquer 20 more provinces in the Italy region, along with Genoa, Milan, Florence, and Rome. Uh, yeah. So Austria's just got the Burgundian inheritance on a pretty weak Burgundy albeit but whatever uh they chose the option to go to war with france i'm gonna have to fight the same guys i lost to again right yeah all right i think i'm gonna actually move my capital to uh welsh burn now i don't know why it's welsh burn like when did the welsh decide to move burn to verona i really don't get it it really doesn't matter i need admin points i got admin points Boom. Now we're slightly Italian. And I just stuck both merchants here, even though I have so little trade power, but I'm actually gonna tell them to establish communities to prevent coalitions from forming. All right, so my next target is obviously Mantua here. We do have a problem since they are allied with Bohemia. Luckily, I should have enough favors with Bohemia to tell them to break their alliance with Mantua. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so let's see what happens if we declare. Hmm, France will come in. Bohemia won't because they have a truce. And if I co-belligerent Milan, can me and these boys along with Switzerland beat up all of them? It should be possible. It definitely should be possible. This is the next war, boys. All right, let's try and do this. 
<laughs> oh great, the Pope just got declared on by Tunis and the Ottomans. Dude, I swear, if I have to fight these two guys for Rome, oh my god, this is gonna be the craziest campaign ever. All right, war is done, war is done. Let's take Mantua, obviously. Oh my god, that's so expensive, dude. Uh, maybe we can vassalize Mantua. That's, uh, this is 27 AE. What if we vassalize them? It's 22, so it doesn't change too much, but then I can't take stuff from Milan. So we gotta take Mantua and uh, Cremona and Pavia too, I'm thinking. A lot of guys are gonna be angry. A coalition won't form either way, just so I can have access to Genoa and Milan later. And I'm gonna give these to Switzerland to weaken Milan further and to make them like me. So yeah, let's take some money too. All right, expansion in Italy is going all right. Of course, this is gonna slow us down a lot right now because we got a lot of nations being angry. So we're gonna have to chill for like 10 years probably before we continue our conquests. The decision to form Italy, of course, isn't popping up because I'm still Franconian, but I think I'll swap to Venetian pretty soon. All right, all right. The Pope didn't get dismantled too much and Tunis didn't take Rome. <laughs> This is one of the most cursed Italy's I've ever seen, dude. Look at it, man. Big Saluzzo, Border Gore Milan, OPM Savoy. Well, they got more provinces here. Switzerland has entered. Tunis and the Ottomans. Aragon is still down here. Naples, Pope, Pope. Pope, Spoleto have popped out, Naples once again, Perugia, Urbino, Venice is in Tuscany, Austria is down here, and the central German nation owns these provinces, and more Venice border gore. Alright, time for the conquests to continue, let's declare on Ferrara. Things are looking up so far, Bremen and Florence, uh, let's just call in Switzerland and Mainz and Köln. All right, nice. I'm gonna peace out Florence, make them break their alliance with France. Awesome, awesome. And uh, who else am I fighting? Oh, right, right. These guys up here. Yo, I think we're a great power. <laughs> we are. <laughs> Look at this little snake here, boys. A great power of the world compared to the likes of uh, France, England, Castile, and Poland. All right, let's get these guys out of here. Venice took the other one. <laughs> Next war time. This time for Cis Venice. I need to gobble up 20 provinces. All right, what do we take next here? What do we take next? Honestly, boys, I'm thinking espionage, man. Let's get that minus 20 AE impact. We're so powerful. We don't need an actually good idea group. All right, these three provinces right here is all we can take from Venice. And uh, let's take a little less money, a little more war reps. Yeah, something like this. All right, how many provinces in Italy do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And none of the provinces we actually need, which are Milan, Genoa, Florence, and Rome. But don't worry, boys, we're getting there. Hey, first comment this game. Um, which one? I haven't taken this one ever. So I just got out of a war with uh, Switzerland fighting Savoy, just called in uh, by Mainz and by France. Mainz is fighting these small guys, no big deal. France is fighting a war which I previously lost. Why? Why would you declare, man? Why? I don't get it. I don't get it. I have to accept both of these and get destroyed. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna untake this. There we go. I don't want to get called into all your uh, offensive wars, boys. I, li I literally don't care about you. There we go. If you don't know this button, now you do. These are the final wars I'm participating in, man. I swear. Let's at least go and help out, huh? Oh, well, I, I didn't notice France was already uh, almost winning the war. You know, funny thing here, I have a Zpodebrad guy on my throne. That's nice. Bohemia also has one on their throne. He's 41 and no heir. Looks like that little uh, request favors for heir. It might not work out for you, Bohemia. Finally, the war is over, man. <sighs> Ah, the Peasants' War. That's a welcome sight. Listen, I don't think this Peasants' War is avoidable because we're in the HRE and because of that it's taking 5 per month. Whatever, let's just ignore that by declaring on Milan right here. Of course, of course. Let's do it. Back to tradition. That's what I like to see. Wait, it's actually a horrible disaster. We lose six tab. No. You know, it's actually not a bad idea to be at war while this peasants war is going on because my allies will just beat up the peasants. Okay, well, they helped me beat up all the rebels. And yeah, now we can be sad. Let's take Milan and Genoa. Will a coalition form? Ah, uh, four nations? Not really. So yeah. All right, we're good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Florence is gonna be 11. Siena, 12. Rome, 13. Yeah, we still need to blob out a bit. And the Peasants were is done. Wait a minute. No. No. Not again. Oh my god. We already had this happen to us once, dude. We had the peasants war twice. Right uh, one time right after another. Oh my god. Okay, I need 50% manpower to stop it. I stopped it. And I just declared war on Florence by accident. <laughs> I guess we're doing it live, boys. I guess we're doing it live. Click. 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 Hmm. Meh. Let's culture shift to Romagnol, and uh, hey, there's the decision. 
All right, nice. Oh, I didn't know the the Pope joins the Empire incident can happen if uh, if they didn't rein in the Italians. I guess I must have added enough provinces in Italy back to the Empire that the Pope would ask to join. Either way, this doesn't make much of a difference to me since I'm already in the HRE. Boys, my genius. It generates gravity. To get around all this aggressive expansion in Northern Italy fighting these high dev Catholic nations, I will get around that by simply declaring on Tunis, who is a Muslim nation that holds these provinces, because they're not allied to the Ottomans anymore. Yay! Let's declare for Corsica, Cologne, Bohemia, Salzburg, and Switzerland. Boom. All right, I got 11 provinces in Italy, Siena and Rome, that's 13, so I need to take seven from these guys. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, let's see what we can do. Oh, we can call them the Palatinate too? I will, I will. Listen, I'm allied to all electors. I still haven't been voted HRE Emperor, dude. I call in all of these guys to fight Tunis and they're literally doing nothing, dude. I've arrived in Tunis myself. And I think that wraps up our Tunisian campaign, boys. Let's take uh, this province too, just to be safe. Excellent. All right, now we should have a bunch of provinces and I think we'll only need Rome. And actually, uh, I was just called in by Switzerland versus Saluzzo here, and they just gave me Siena, which is excellent. Uh, no real risk of coalition, I don't think. Bruh, they also gave me Parma. <laughs> I didn't want that. I didn't want that. Oh, yeah. oh my god, no. I don't think a, I think a coalition actually can form right now. Will I lose AE if I give it back, though? But I can't give it back. I'm at war. And now Denmark's somehow in this war? What? What's going on here? Yeah, I'm gonna give this back. So, boys, we have about, uh, Let's see. Oh, wait, I don't have a truce with the Pope. Wait, the Pope has a truce with me, but I don't with him? I was gonna say, we got like uh, four years to wait before we declare on him, but looks like that's not the case. And boys, our final war to form Italy. Let's call in Switzerland and let's take Rome. No need to drag out this war any longer than it should be. I literally just occupied Rome and we could be south. And that's all I want, Pope man. That's all I want. Boom. Let's score this up, boys. And there we go, boys. 1555. We can take the decision to form Italy. Yes, please. We've also left the HRE. Wonderful, wonderful. And uh, yeah, man, there we go. We literally just formed Italy as the nation of Bayreuth, whereas last week we formed Prussia with Bamberg, an unusual nation to form Prussia with. This week, we formed Italy with Bayreuth. Listen, I think I'm probably the first player in the history of you for to form Italy with Bayreuth. But yeah, man, we started off very weak. Hard independence work was hard to get guys to support us. Snaked our way down to Italy, got a little gold mine from Austria. Unluckily, we never got elected emperor. Uh, let me join the Catholic side. And uh, actually, I hate Austria. I should flip. There we go. Just Italy things, am I right? <laughs> we snaked down to Italy, conquered a bunch of provinces here. No coalitions at all, even though they could form. They like us. Or wait, now they don't, but they used to like us. And we conquered all the provinces we needed. Conquered 20 provinces, exactly 20 by the way, with Rome. And we have formed Italy, ladies and gentlemen, as the nation of Bayreuth. No bankruptcies this game. It, we were a little more serious. We're making a ton of money actually. Lots of income from gold as well. We did have a disaster and we were on the edge of disasters the whole time. It wasn't purposely triggered of course. The peasants were. I couldn't avoid it. And we almost got internal conflicts and a civil war too. So we really are back to tradition baby. 2022. Crazy goals. No bankruptcies. Verge of disasters. Unusual situations. And I'm happy to say that I will declare this episode as Bayreuth in A to Z as a success. And that has been Bayreuth in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the Red Hawk Live. And if you want to see me do playthroughs, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more A to Z videos or more U4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.